Hello guys, what is up? This is Desires and welcome to a new editing tutorial that I've got for you on my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial considering it's a really easy effect and it is the bulge effect. I'll quickly show you an example now that was in one of my edits. Okay there, I've just paused it where the effect is. You can see the bulge there like a distortion. As you can see it's getting bigger through the middle. It's very subtle but I think it looks really nice considering how subtle it looks. And it, yeah, it's within After Effects, and I'll show you guys how to do it now. So, you start by opening After Effects, obviously I've got uh, After Effects CC. And drag in a clip or whatever you're using to use the effect. So I've just dragged in my clip, drag it into your timeline. And make sure it's in your timeline, I've just got to trim mine, make sure it's all trimmed or... Make sure it's all edited with music and then you can add this effect after. I'm just going to be pre-rendering this. And then we're going to do a thing like on this quad feed. On my last shot that finishes off the quad feed, I'm going to be adding that bulge effect. Okay, cool. So I'll say there. So if I go through it now, I'm not going to do it there. That's going to be missed out. That too. All right, it's going to be there on the last shot, which makes it the quad feed. All right, so um, hopefully turn it. Actually, that's fine. All right, so so start off. You have to, where it says effects and presets on the search engine. Make sure you just type down bulge. It'll come up there under distort. Drag that into your clip by the timeline. Now you've done that, it will give you all these options. Now you can see it's in your clip and it's got the bulge and it's got all these options here. Okay, for some reason, as you can see this grey circle up here, normally it should be in the middle. I'm not sure why mine isn't, because when I edit it, it still edits in the middle. So if, you're, if your circle, if your grey circle's in the middle of your frame, that's good. Or if it's like mine, it's still alright. So, um, so the things we're gonna be, the options we're gonna be editing first in this bulge effect is the horizontal radius and the vertical radius. So if you if you see the frame now, when I change the horizontal radius, you can see that through the whole of the clip, it's is stretching out this uh, bulge effect. And uh, we want to stretch it out where so you can see both the edges of the bulge effect goes against our frame there. I think that will be fine for that option. So I'll say around about. 661 for the horizontal radius and now for the vertical radius you can see it's gonna stretch it up I'll say go a bit beyond the frame so because it'll make it look a bit better so I'll say about there so 467 I think that looks fine as you can see now the bulge effect is actually showing up there and it's fine okay so when you've got that when you've got that all set out and you've got the options that you want and you want to use that's fine you don't need to edit them anymore you don't need to animate them okay so we only need to animate the bulge height, that's going to be our main effect that we're going to be um, animating and that is going to, as you can see when I drag out here, you can see that is the actual height of the bulge and where it's going, so that's the main bit we're going to animate. So in order to animate, uh, you have to go to where you want to use the bulge effect, and remember I want to use mine on this last shot to make the quad feed, so you need to make sure you go on your dead frame, so what a dead frame is, is where if you keep on going frames, to where you shoot so the first frame where you shoot okay as you can see the hit marker there just about appears that's where I shoot so the dead frame is the frame before you shoot which is there so you're gonna want to make sure you go on your dead frame before you shoot or whatever you're using to edit and when you when you're on that frame make sure you go where it has your clip there on your timeline go onto that arrow there then where it says effect go on the arrow there and then the bulge arrow there and it will give you the options that are up there but in here and we want them to be down here so we can animate them easier so now you just want to concentrate on the bulge height just start off by adding make sure you're still in the dead frame add a zero to where it has bulge height and now you're going to want to press on the stopwatch where it has the bulge height so now you're going to be able to animate it so now you've got the zero there you can see that the keyframe is where our dead frame is and that shows that it's zero if it's not just change that to zero and now the next thing you want to do in order to animate it properly, you want to go a frame forward and now you see the frame where you've shot. Drag it up. We, as you see when I drag it up you can see the bulge effect actually showing up. I would say around about 1.1 is fine. So as you can see now, if I go back again, that's the frame before, that's the frame where I shoot and now the bulge effect is happening. Okay, so now we're going to animate it where after a couple of frames or a couple of seconds we want this, this bulge effect to go away and to like just disappear. So in order to do that, you're going to want to drag as many frames or how long you want this bulge effect to last for and when it's going to go. So I want it to last for a while so you can notice it, but it's up to you guys. I'll say around about there. So in order to uh, put it back to zero, just click on that, type down zero. And because you've got your stopwatch here, it's automatically uh, gave you another keyframe there, showing you that you, uh, you've uh, successfully put the zero there and it's, it's animated it properly. 
So once, when I go back now, you can see that the dead frame and all the frames are there properly. And when you go in and shoot, the bulge is very, you can barely see it. Because if you want it to be more noticeable, just keep on edit the bulge height because that will make it more noticeable and all that. But when I go through it, you can see when I shoot, the bulge effect goes. And then it disappears when I want it to disappear on this last keyframe. So I hope this editing tutorial helped you guys. And if you want more, please subscribe and like if you also enjoyed it and if this, if this was helpful to you. And I'll see you guys in another video.